deductions against uh, criteria, that being the generally accepted accounting principles oftentimes uh, determines overall fairness of financial statements. We're going to make a determination. That's our point. Is that, you know, what's the, what's the determination after we've gotten the evidence? Once we make that determination, we're going to issue audit reports to uh, a company financial statements. So we're actually going to then, of course, issue our opinion uh, on the financial statement. So obviously, we're going to have terms of engagement between the management and the auditor uh, at the get go. So when we think about the process, of course, we're going to have some kind of planning of the process. The person that hires the auditor, which and this is going to be a problem in some ways, because you would think that there would be an independence type of problem happening here, is going to be the company. The company, for some reason, needs an audit to judge the fairness of the work that they did and they're paying the auditor. So note there's kind of an issue there with regards to the person that's getting paid to do the job to judge the person who's paying them is a bit of a problem. That's going to be one of the reasons we focus in on things like independence uh, at a later time. So once, so first we're going to have this engagement. Management needs an audit. Why? Possibly they're a publicly traded company and they have to have an audit. And so the company actually has to pay for an audit because they're publicly traded. But they might need an audit because they're a bank or something like that. And then they, they need to get an audit because the bank wants an audit. So they need to hire an auditor. The bank doesn't hire the auditor. The management hires the auditor, the company hires the auditor to audit, but the auditors being independent in nature, CPA firms regulated, then uh, they have more assurance or uh, reliability in the eyes of the bank and the eyes of investors. So we have to have that engagement agreement of terms. What are the terms in agreement on? The management saying that I have created, created these in accordance with a set of rules compiled everything together, all the assertions we've seen in a prior presentation, and the auditor then saying, hey, you, you provide me with this information so that I can do the tests necessary for me to gather the evidence necessary for me to determine whether or not you have indeed put these into in accordance with that engagement or with the criteria. So we're going to gather evidence. So the evidence is going to be on the internal controls, uh, the transactions and the accumulation transactions into the balances. That's what we're going to test. And note that internal controls is important here because we're not just going to test the transactions. We're going to test the controls. And hopefully, if we're looking at a large company, those controls need to be strong because we're not going to be able to test enough transactions in many conditions in order to have enough evidence all the time without relying to some extent on the internal controls on the checks and balances of the system. Then we have the uh, assertions which is related to the preparation of the financial statements in accordance with the assertions, generally accepted accounting principles, 